Hey teacher friend, welcome back to my channel. My name's Molly and I'm a fifth grade teacher who helps other teachers just like you streamline your literacy block so you can spend more time teaching and less time prepping. And in today's video, I'm gonna talk to you about the differences of Math Daily 3 versus whole group instruction. If you have seen my other videos, I've been talking a lot about Math Daily 3, and I've had a lot of videos in a Daily 5 series. I'm a big fan of the Daily 5, and I also use Daily 3 in my math classroom now that I'm in fifth grade, but I've also tried it in kindergarten and first grade and loved it there as well. I'd first like to start by saying that Math Daily 3 is the structure of your literacy block, not the instruction. I feel compelled to say this every time because of some of the answers I've gotten um, in the comment section on TikTok about people loving or hating Daily 5, Daily 3. So it's important for me to differentiate that it's not, I'm not telling you what to teach, I'm telling you about the structure of Math Daily 3 and the differences you're gonna find between whole group instruction. One is not better than the other. I definitely want to say that as well. I started out the year actually after I switched grade levels and schools teaching math as a whole group because I found that my whole team was doing it that way and I thought I would just go with the flow. And what I found is that many of my students were not willing to participate. They felt embarrassed to raise their hand. And by fifth grade, we know that the likelihood of raising your hand has diminished over the years. In kindergarten, everybody raises their hand. And every year after that, it slowly and slowly gets worse and worse for kids to feel like they can take a risk and they don't wanna be wrong. When I switched to Math Daily 3 quickly on this year, I noticed that those kids that were least likely to raise their hand were now super engaged and raising their hand all the time in their math small group and they felt like it was a safe space to be wrong or to at least take a venture out into what I was asking. So there's not a right or wrong. I also want to emphasize that because I know people like to teach in different ways and you can teach the whole group instruction way inside of your math daily three groups. And what I mean by that is if you're focusing on tier one instruction, you can still give the same lesson inside of those math groups. And that's how I do it. But I might tailor it and adjust depending on the kids in that group and what their needs are. And that's why I love math small groups, because I'm able to do that while my other students are working independently on math tasks that I've explicitly taught them how to do. Okay, Math Daily 3 encourages your students to work independently so that you can teach small groups. And I think one of the things that overwhelms many teachers, especially new teachers, is when you are teaching in a whole group setting, then it's hard to know like what other kids are working on. But if you have explicitly taught those tasks and they can rotate so they're not stuck on the same thing the entire time, it really helps them because they are excited about what they're doing and they know what the expectations are instead of working on the same thing for 45 minutes while um, after you've gotten done teaching a math lesson. I think if you haven't tried Math Daily 3, but you are a fan of Daily 5 for your literacy block, you will love it and it will transform the way you teach math. All right, you can still teach the same group lesson, like I was saying, to all of your groups, but it really helps you tailor it to each of the group's needs. How you group those kids is going to be based on whatever your choosing is or whatever your school is. So maybe it's ability, maybe it's based on a math skill, maybe you just have them grouped in three different groups. That's really up to you. I'm not here to tell you what's right or wrong, but I do think that Math Daily 3 is going to make your life a lot easier during your math block, and you're going to notice that your students are more likely to participate in those small group settings opposed to the whole group, especially as we work our way up in upper elementary because our kids are less likely to feel like they can take a risk in their answer. So. Those are my reasons um, behind choosing to do Math Daily 3, and I think that's just the difference. It's the structure of your literacy block, not the instruction. So whether you're teaching in small groups using Math Daily 3 or whole groups, there's no right or wrong. I just wanted to be here to differentiate for you so that you know that there is two different ways to do it and you don't always have to teach math to your whole group. And you can definitely see the engagement go up if you try Math Daily 3. Let me know in the comments below, do you love Math Daily 3 or what your opinions are on it? And I'd love to answer you back. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.